Hi, Hiram here. The other day I did a couple of videos on this new BioLite camp stove that I bought. Uh, really cool. I got a bunch of questions and emails and stuff on this. So I thought what I'd do today is uh, try to answer a couple of the questions if I can without lighting the stove up. That comes tomorrow. So what I have here is the BioLite camp stove. Comes in a burn, has a burn chamber with legs and a, uh, for, I guess a power generator that takes heat in here. Can you see that? Heat in here, pulls it into this and generates electricity enough to light a fan and enough current supposedly to, uh, charge devices. I charged my phone a little bit the other day. I guess I made a comment somewhere along the line about there's a Peltier device in here, the square thing. This is probably, I haven't taken this apart yet. I don't think I'm allowed to, but somewhere I read on their paperwork that you're not allowed to make mods on this. Huh. Anyway, this copper rod comes in. I think there's probably a copper plate here. And on the other side of that is something like this. This is what they call a Peltier device. If you've seen those little refrigerators that you put on your countertops where you can plug it into your cigarette lighter or something and it cools off stuff, they use this. What happens if you put current in here, one side gets hot, the other side gets cold because it's sucking all the heat off to the other side. So you can either make a heater with this or a refrigerator with this by adding current. The really neat thing is, if you heat up one side and chill the other side some way, you can generate electricity. And that's what they're doing in here. I did a video some time back. I'll try to remember to put the uh, link to it down below. But from the size of this thing, I'm guessing that they're using a Peltier like this. So this part heats up this surface, and then they've got a fan here that sucks air in here, pulls it down, and shoots it out here. So the air goes past fins that are cooling off the other side. So here we've got heat on one side, cool on the other, and the difference makes electricity, and that's what this is doing. So this is a Peltier. These are cool to play with. You can either pick them up. I've been picking them up. Anytime I see one of those refrigerators that... Uh, you know, the thrift stores or any place, Goodwill, couldn't think of that. I pick them up and take them apart because they got lots of fans and these things inside. Otherwise, you can buy these on eBay. There's tons of them there. That's uh, Peltier, P-E-L-T-I-E-R. Just look it up and you'll find them. Also, what happens with this there's probably some circuitry in here. <clears throat> the current coming off this, you know, could be 9, 10 volts. But what we want coming out of this is 5. So there's probably a tri uh, power transistor in here to take that power and knock it down to 5 volts. Okay, let's see. Oh, one of the questions I got from David Auto Full. He said, Hiram, as a skeptic, try this test. Charge the bio stove, which I did, and try charging your phone without a fire. If it charges faster without the fan and the fire, then it's a big ripoff. I'm not sure, but I think what he's saying is you have to charge the battery that's in here ahead of time. And he might be thinking that that battery is used, is what comes out the uh, USB port here. I think that's what he's saying, but that's not what happens. The battery that's in this for that you charge up ahead of time is just to run the fan. This whole thing won't turn on until it gets hot enough. Let me see if I can show you here. This is this has been fully charged up since yesterday. But what I have here is a little USB light. You hook it in on a USB and there's an LED light on the other end. Just like this. If I hook it into a charger you can see the light. Okay? So it works. 
Here I have a fully charged unit. I won't turn on the fan yet, but just to show you, without heat coming into this and turning it on, I can put this light in here and nothing happens. Now this is fully charged. Well, as full as it can be, but nothing with the light. I can show you though, if you push this power on button, can you hear that? The fan is on and it's blowing out this hole. It's like a squirrel cage, just blowing it out at an angle. So this will run. Normally you have low and have high. You push the button once and it'll go to high, but in this case it won't go to high. It only runs the fan just at low. Once everything's all heated up and it's getting enough current, then it'll go to high and supposedly you get better uh, current coming out of this then. To shut this off, you have to push the button and hold it down, like so. Just tapping it. If it's got the power, we'll go to high, but it won't shut it off. So to answer David Auto Full, that's a good, you know, theory on that, but I don't think that's the way it is. I don't think it's a big ripoff. I just still have to find out how long it takes you to charge something up with this. Oh, the other thing. When I was done with this yesterday, I let the fire burn out. I shut this off. Within about 15 seconds, it powered back on itself because the unit was hot. When this gets hot enough, it'll turn the fan on, apparently. And at the end, until it cools off, the fan runs to protect all of the uh, circuitry and stuff that's in here. So if you have this, you know, and you take, you shut off the whole thing, take it out, it might still run as long as it's hot. The other day when I did that test with wood pellets, there was really a lot of ash sitting at the bottom of this. So if you have to run this for any length of time, like a couple of hours, you may have to stop and empty this out in order to keep on going. Otherwise you'll have ashes accumulate all the way up to the top. Uh, oh, the other thing you may have seen, I took it out of a bag. This chamber, you know, is really kind of grungy and I'm not going to clean it out every time I use it. So to try to protect this somewhat, I'm putting it in a bag that the our morning paper was in, just like so. Put that in there like that and then it keeps the generator from getting dirty. That might be a good thing to do. Okay, I guess that's it for now. I thank David Otto Full for his comment. I thank the others and I hope that my explanation of Peltier devices helps any. These are really cool things to play with. I thank you for watching. I always appreciate when people are watching my videos and giving me content, comments and stuff. I look forward to input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. Not kidding about that. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.